everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing this makeup look here which as you can tell by the title is a Valentine's spotlight eye kind of makeup look. It's nice and warm and smoky. So we're starting off with a bare face. I've literally just fake tanned so yeah as you can see these are my two favourite fake tans. I've got a couple of breakouts at the moment because you know what is new. But yeah, I'm going to start off by using my E45 Moisturiser Cream and I like to use this on my face at the moment because my skin's pretty dry and this definitely hydrates it a lot. Then I move on to foundation and I use my Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 220 and I'm just blending this out with my Sigma F80 Flat Kabuki brush and honestly I love this brush so much I use it in all my tutorials as you would have seen. So yeah, just doing that. I seriously don't know what's going on with my skin at the moment. I have good phases and bad phases and at the moment it is a bad phase. Right, so now we're going to move on to my eyes and I'm going to be taking my Morphe 35O palette because bae. <laughs> and yeah, I'm just going to start off by taking these two. They're like really neutral shades. You can't really tell by the colour there because of the lighting. But they're like two neutral shades I like to mix together to set my eyelid because obviously we had the foundation over as a base and now we're setting it with a neutral shade to a good base like I said next I'm taking this like um, warm brown shade and a warm orange shade they're nothing too intense just yet this is going to be the perfect transition shade just to start off with and I'm using my Sigma E40 tapered blending brush Next I'm going to be taking a mix of these three shades on the end. I am actually just going to start with the lighter shade in the middle and just build up the colour. I do like to like put it on in the position first and then just keep blending it out. I have sped this up quite a bit because it's quite boring to watch me just repeatedly blend. But yeah, as you can see, I started off my halo eye here where I put a darker colour on the outer side and a colour... Oh, can't speak. <laughs> darker on the outer side and col... I um, don't know what's happening. Darker on... <laughs> the outside and then darker on the inside as well so it creates a spotlight in the middle when we use the brighter shade earlier oh my god don't know what just happened then <laughs> next i'm taking this brownie red shade and this is just going to deepen it up and create more of a con contrast between the colors and yeah just applying that with my sigma e25 blending brush and then we're going to go in with the star of the show which is the spotlight shade and this is like a really pinky white shade and this is incredibly pigmented as you can see and then I just like to blend it together and then I'm using my finger to apply this as well because the pigment is normally stronger like that but yeah just carry on blending it together so it doesn't look too harsh and then go back in with my Sigma E40 back in with my Sigma E25 and yeah Next we're moving back onto the face. I have already done my mascara. I did use the Volume Million Lashes Mascara by L'Oreal. But now we're moving on to concealer and this is the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade number 20. And I just applied that with the applicator and now I'm blending that out with a Real Techniques blending sponge. I'm always really careful around the eye area because obviously that is where we want it to be kind of like sculpted rather than just blurred out. So yeah, just blending that out now. Then I'm going to be taking my New Look Contour Stick. This is in the shade Natural Tan, I believe. And this is like a really nice olive-based colour. And yeah, it's just perfect for my skin tone when I'm using fake tan. And this is a colour I'd normally go when I'm like naturally tanned. So yeah, it's perfect. I'm then moving on to Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and just setting my under eyes and everywhere I highlighted. Just because that's where I've got extra product like concealer and foundation. So this is where it creases the most. Having a nice little sing song to Taylor Swift whilst getting ready. So yeah, just wiping that away now with my Real Techniques brush. And I don't like to bake with this as you guys know because I don't like my face being too matte. I then go in with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade, uh, I think it's medium dark. But yeah, this is one of the natural ones, so it's not like a shimmer one. It's just a nice face powder and it looks really natural on the skin, hence the name Natural Skin Finish. I then go in with MAC Fix Plus because 
like I said I don't like my face to look too powdery and it just adds some hydration back into the skin now moving on to eyebrows I'm taking another MAC product which is the eyebrow pencil in the shade taupe I believe and yeah I just start by brushing them off out with the spoolie to start with and then fill them in as I said in my last video, I currently have my eyebrows like tinted, so I don't really need to put too much product on them. I then go in with my L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper and just brush them down, set them in place so they're not moving. And then I use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit in the shade Medium and I take this warm shade. I'm not really sure what the name of these, but I'll try and put it down below, I probably won't because I'm really bad with that, <laughs> but yeah this is just to bronze up my skin. Next I'm moving on to blush and I'm taking my L'Oreal Infallible Br Blush, I'm not really sure what the shade is because I haven't got it in front of me but it's like a really warm shade, I know you can get a pink one or you can get the warmy ready ones and that's the one I use, I really like this because I like my skin to look really bronze and obviously when I'm bronzing it looks good together. And then I'm going to take that like burgundy brown shade I used earlier on my lid for the outer and inner corner and I'm just going to put this along my lower lash line and smoke it out. I then took a darker brown and just put this even closer to the, the lash line and just, I don't know, I just defined my lash line a little bit more. I then lined my waterline and my tight line, I didn't really want to put that on camera because it looks ugly. And then I went back in with my L'Oreal mascara. Now on to highlighter and I'm using Mary Luminizer, which I know it gets a lot of hype, but I feel when I use it, it's a bit too light for my skin tone. I don't know, it can look a bit like white on my skin. So yeah, but I do really, really like it. It has got a really nice pop to it. Like it really stands out when you wear it and it's perfect for this look. and the highlight absolutely everywhere <laughs> now we're going to move on to lips oh <laughs> drop the camera now we're going to move on to lips and this is the mac etc lip liner and this is from the pro Longwear range and yeah it's a really nice neutral brownie shade i then go in with this rimmel lip liner which i'm pretty sure is in the shade cappuccino which is a deeper cool toned nude and I like to use this to define my lips and then I'm going in with my Sigma Lip Vex in the shade Slip and you guys know I've been loving this so much recently I use it pretty much every day at the moment and yeah I just really like glossy lips at the moment I don't know what's wrong with me I never used to it's always a matte look so yeah this is the final look I hope you enjoyed it I will let you look at some clips of me posing but yeah I really like how this eye look came out it's nice to do something different than a warm like even though it is warm toned it's nice to do something that's more like pinky and something that's going to be perfect for Valentine's Day as it is fast approaching us and yeah I think it's the perfect look for like a date or whatever you're going to do so yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please comment down below any video ideas you'd like me to do. And yeah, do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!